Hello, welcome to another video from EarnPad.com. I am Stevie B. Happy to have you all with us. Ah, I got plenty of smacks, sips, and spits for all the haters out there. So guys, let's get right to it. I am going to go ahead and hop into uh, Annihilation Mayhem for Merry Mayhem 2020 while we go ahead and make today's video. So guys first of all let me get up and running here uh, let's go ahead and let's see let's go ahead and throw on this there helmet okay helmets on let's go ahead and pop that there candy cane and let's get to it okay so we are here in merry mayhem 2020 in the annihilation instance we're just going to get to shooting so guys first things first i want to apologize that i've been MIA, uh, I actually came down with COVID about a week ago, and man, that sucked uh, bad. So a family member of mine got a positive test, then another family member of mine got a positive test, and I didn't think too much about it because, you know, I run into like a thousand people a day, so it was like no big deal really. And then all of a sudden, I woke up like last Wednesday with this horrendous fever, and just chills and it was brutal and actually tried to go to work and they sent me home and literally came home and just kept losing consciousness it was bad so not only did I have this retardedly high fever but on top of that I would literally just be standing there and just pass out um, it was that bad so that went on for like two or three days and then finally the fever kind of went away a little bit and it was just a low-grade fever and then after that, I was fine. I just felt like crap. Just felt like I got hit by a truck. I had like no energy. I, I just didn't want to do anything but sleep. So needless to say, it has not been the most pleasant of weeks uh, by a long shot. And then to make things all the better, um, my birthday is coming up. We got the holidays coming up. So I got a lot of stuff I got to do to prepare for both of those. Uh, very, very close friend of mine is also sick, which is no good. And then on top of all that, with uh, me having family members being sick and getting ready for Merry Mayhem, needless to say, it has been an absolute freaking disaster. So, luckily, feeling better, here I am. We're back at it. Uh, Mayhem has already opened up. The Practice Mayhem actually opened while I was sick. And Competition Mayhem opened this morning. So, here we are. So today, I want to give you guys one piece of information that I'm hoping will help some of you out during Mayhem 2020 for Merry Mayhem. Um, first of all, let's go over kind of what Christmas Mayhem entails because it's different than regular Mayhem. So like normal, we have the Annihilation Instance, which is what I'm in right now. And this is where you just kill as many creatures as you can over a certain amount of time. For Christmas, it's 15 hours. For Halloween, it's 10 hours. It depends what holiday it is as to how long the, the instance is. So you come in, you kill as many as you can. Of course, typical mayhem, there's DPS limits. Uh, so you want to use a very high DPS weapon close to the category cap, preferably tier 9 or 10 with all the damage enhancers on it, full reload speed, all that good stuff. And you get a random amount of points between 0 and 5,000, 5,000 being the one that you're after. And most points win. It's very easy, very straightforward. There's also FFA Mayhem, Free For All Mayhem. Uh, you can enter the FFA Mayhem instance via Santa's Little Helper. Uh, there's two or three of them. That It's a little NPC just as Santa's Little Helper. You go in and as you're looting creatures, um, it's curbs. And then there's also a Yule Bot boss. And as you're looting creatures, you will uh, get these stars, like little snowflake looking stars. That are tradable and long story short whoever turns in the most stars wins first place um, that is pretty much a good enough award to be able to get you something from the mayhem token trader right away it's the only version of mayhem in which that's possible the stars are tradable so you can sell them to other players there will be people buying them up in mass uh, because it is not possible to farm enough to get first place you will have to buy them whoever ends up getting first place will likely spend about thirty thousand dollars to do so I'm not going to lie, I had actually talked it over with a couple of friends of mine, and I had considered even as late as mid-November potentially trying to buy up all the FFA stars and just go for first place so I could just be done with Mayhem forever. 
And long story short, after talking to several people and really weighing my options for over a month, I finally just decided against it. Um, I think I could have pulled it off. I think with the network I have and with the amount of money I have in game and everything and all my resources, I, I could have made it happen if I really wanted to. But it would have been a lot of work, a lot of effort. And at the end of the day, it just seemed like it really wasn't worth it to me. Um, so that being said, guys, this is the, the competition arena. There is a practice arena. Most of you guys know from my other videos, I do not recommend uh, competing. If you've already started competing, that's one thing. But if you're a new player, if you're new to Entropia, I do not recommend competing for multiple, multiple reasons. Um, that being said, I do kind of encourage everybody to try out the practice arena just to kind of get a feel for it, maybe farm some boxes, have some fun with friends. The practice arena, you can actually have up to four people in the instance at once, so that's pretty cool. Um, you can't do that in competition. So FFA is also something, if you guys haven't checked it out, maybe check it out. Just go in for five, ten minutes, see how you like it. Sometimes you love it, sometimes you hate it. Uh, each person is different, and you know, find what works for you, right? So one thing I will say is you guys are in the wrong spot doesn't matter if you're in the practice arena, it doesn't matter if you're in the competition arena, it does not matter if you're in FFA, you are in the wrong spot, which is why I wanted to kind of give you guys the overview of what the different mayhems that are currently ongoing are. You are in the wrong location, I promise you. Yeah, how, am I, how do I know this? Because for the past, like, four days, I've been in the right location. This isn't it, I'm not showing you the right location, it's not the competition arena, I promise. I promise you, you're in the wrong spot. In the past four days, I have seen maybe, maybe, like seven total people in the correct spot. And most of those people come and go, and they don't even realize they're in the right spot. They just happen to be there, and then they happen to leave. Uh, there is like two, maybe three other people in the entire game that actually know they're in the right spot and are like actively happy that they're there. Um, there there's just not a lot. So out of all the people in Entropia, as of right now, as of December 9th, 2020, I can literally guarantee you, if you're watching this video, you are not in the correct location. You are not where you want to be. There is a very, very specific location you want to be right now. There is a very, very specific thing you want to be doing right now. You are not there. You are not doing that. I know that because I have been there for literally like four straight days and have yet to see a soul. There's like one person that I know that I've actually seen, and that's because I told them where to come and what to do. So that being said, if you are a newer player, I don't want to say new, I want to say newer. If you started last week, um, then you obviously need to be at Camp Icarus. You need to be grinding out some punies, getting some skills. Uh, if you started three weeks ago, you should now have some skills and have the buck and spare rifle and probably be at North Swamp Camp hunting exosaurs. But if you're beyond that, if you've played for more than, let's say, 60 days, and you've done the puny thing, you've done the the, the buck and spare rifle mission, and you're, you're at North Swamp Camp and you're farming exosaurs, there is somewhere else you probably should be right now. And there is something else you should probably be doing right now. Um, you are not there, you are not doing it, because again, I have been there for like four straight days now, while I've been sick, and yet to see a soul. So, am I going to tell you where this spot is? No. Am I going to tell you what it is you should be doing? No. Why? Because I've already done it in another video. So, for those of you who are really, really dedicated, who watch my videos, who watch them regularly and go back and rewatch and rewatch again, um, there are quite a few of you that are going to see this video and you're going to go, aha, we know where to go, we know what to do, and you're going to show up and cool, you're going to make some money. And for the rest of you, um, watch the videos more. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Um, here, here's the thing, guys. I do not mind giving out information to help newer players. I don't mind that at all. That is why I do what I do. But I am not going to literally spoon feed you every single thing every single time. You are going to have to go back and watch my videos, you're going to have to watch them many, many times, and you're going to have to learn to think outside the box, you're going to have to try and actually remember things about the game, and you're going to have to accumulate some amount of game knowledge as you go, otherwise these videos are no good. Um, you can watch these videos all day long, and if you don't remember a single thing that I say, it's not going to get you very far, right? 
so I promise you, in a long gone bygone video, I tell you exactly where to go and exactly what to do at this exact moment right now, December 9th, 2020. Um, so far, nobody has managed to show up, which is great for me. Um, it's, it's helping me out tremendously. Uh, but for everybody else that's out there, maybe not so much, right? So go back, watch the videos, think to yourself what is going on right now with Mayhem that everybody is missing. And if, you know, you're lucky, you might put two and two together and you might figure it out and you might show up and I might be like, hey, what's going on? Um, so that being said, guys, that, that was the very first thing I wanted to cover in today's video. The second thing that I wanted to cover is a question that I get all the time. I, I am still getting this question over and over and over. And that is, what should I do in game? Guys, this is an open world, do as you please video game. I can only carry you so far. Um, there comes a point where the fork in the road becomes so great and there's so many forks in the road that I can no longer give you the answer. So the easy answer, the, the simple answer, the one that I can give you, the one that I will give every time, is this. If it's your first day in Entropia, the very first thing you should do is you should be hunting puny creatures at Camp Icarus. You should immediately go to the top of the stairs, talk to the NPC at Icarus, and get the Buck and Spare Rifle mission. Um, if you're having trouble locating that, it is definitely on the wiki, has always been on the wiki, will always be on the wiki. And you should essentially just get the Buck and Spare Rifle and skill on punies with whatever you can get your hands on until you have the Buck and Spare Rifle maxed. Once you have it maxed out, go over to North Swamp Camp and start killing exosaurs. Start getting those blazer fragments and as fast as you possibly can, learn to sell your loot for markup. Learn to sell those blazer fragments. Learn to cycle. Learn to actually take what you're getting back in your loot. Learn what to TT to get more ammo um, and, and repair your stuff and get, you know, weapons repaired and faps repaired and learn what to sell for markup to other players. Learn to access the trade channels learn learn to do all those things that are going to be so important later on because the thing about it is after you get past the uh, exosaurs at North Swamp Camp there really is no set this is the path that's where the forks kind of start to split into so many different directions I can't really give you any hardcore advice beyond that because it kind of depends what you're into maybe you're more into mining maybe you're more into hunting maybe you like hunting one creature more than another um, there's just too many forks at that point. But if I was going to write an, a definitive guide for the first three weeks in Entropia, it would be day one, uh, get the mission for Buck and Spare Rifle, start hunting puny creatures. Once you've got Buck and Spare Rifle and have maxed it out, as far as the skills go, head to North Swamp Camp, uh, farm exosaurs, get blazer fragments, sell them for markup, learn to sell efficiently and quickly, and repeat. Um, that would be my advice to practically everybody that starts playing Entropia. That's the advice I've always given, and it's the advice I stand by. Now, obviously, when you're a new player, you're going to get more skills than loot. So you're not going to maybe be profitable from day one, but it would allow you to start being more profitable from day one. And then as you get more and more skills, you'll get less and less skills and more and more loot, at, at which point you'll actually start to see some of that cool profit stuff and maybe even be up a little bit. Now that said, if you don't want to go the bucket and spare rifle route, what is the next best alternative? The Platinum Starter Pack, the Barbella Z12, which is an unlimited weapon you can only get in the Platinum Starter Pack, and the amp that comes with it. If you have the Platinum Starter Pack, if you have that gun and that amp, that is all you need for the first couple of weeks at bare minimum. Um, if your goal is to just to grind out a little bit of profit, you can do it with that gun and that amp at North Swamp Camp essentially till the end of time. Um, that being said, if you have the starter pack and you have the Barbella Z12, there is not really a need, so to speak, for the Buck and Spare Rifle. Uh, the Buck and Spare Rifle is more like the go-to weapon of choice if you do not have the Platinum Starter Pack. Um, so that said, guys, I get that question every day, so I'm probably going to have to reiterate it in several more videos. 
One thing I did want to talk about today is the 2020 Christmas ring that's now dropping from boxes. Um, there was something a little bit unique about it. When we first looked at the stats, we actually thought that it was a malfunction. Um, we thought that somebody maybe had made a typo when they were writing uh, over at Mindark. It said, life still negative 5%. And at first, we just thought that this was a typo on the stats. Um, it is not. The ring actually does have negative 5% life still. So what does that mean? It does not mean that you have inverted life still. What it means is if you have another ring that let's say is giving you 8% life still, and then you equip this ring, that is going to take your total life still down to 3%. Or if you have like some kind of a cool melee amp with the ring, and let's say you have 7% life still, and then you equip this ring, it's going to take you down to 2% life still. Uh, this as far as I'm aware, is the very first ring to ever have an effect that takes away life steal. And I think the reason for this is life steal has always been exceedingly rare. It's almost universally reserved for event rings, uh, melee amplifiers for mayhem, and a cloak that was available at Halloween many, many years ago, which is very, very uber expensive. Uh, it's always been rare. It's always been something that was considered extremely, extremely valuable because it saves on fapping cost and time, and you almost universally see it on competition rings. Mindark has gotten a little bit carried away with it. There was actually an event ring earlier this year that gave you something stupid like 8% life steal. So I think this is kind of how they're planning to even it out a little bit is it's a very good ring. Uh, it's a left-hand ring. It's like 15% reload speed, which should be your max reload from an item. Um, it's also got an amazing amount of critical chance and critical damage uh, increase. So in order to kind of balance the system out a little bit, one of the things they did was they included a negative life steal feature. So I, at first I thought it was a typo. Um, turns out it is not. There have been at least one or two of these rings already looted that are floating around. So that is apparently how it works, which is a new feature, but kudos to Mindark for at least trying to balance some of the system out. So guys, also, uh, one more thing I wanted to mention is the whole Zykeon thing. It does still work. I have new players all the time that are going there and they're still farming defense. Um, but one thing that I've noticed is it's not as imperative as it once was. When I very first started playing, we didn't have Codex. Uh, there was no mission for Exoswars at all. Now with Codex, especially now that we have the Attribute Awards um, with the Meta Challenge, there's less and less of a need for stuff like skilling at Zykeon. I'm not saying it still can't be profitable, and I'm, I'm not telling people not to do it. It's just not as big of a deal. Um, I have a friend who literally had a practically brand new account, and had virtually no defense and in Halloween just because of Codex went from like level 0 evader to level 9 with very 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 little effort. Um, that's the equivalent of several months of skilling at Zykeon. So I think, I, and I've said this in previous videos, I think what Mindark wants to see is long term they want to see higher HP levels, higher profession levels, people using higher level weapons to hunt higher level creatures. Um, obviously that would make sense as that would make them more money. We've also seen with some of the restoration chips that have come out, these chips are capable of doing insane amounts of healing, like up to a thousand HP at a time. And there's nobody in game that currently has that much HP. Uh, the biggest players in game have like five, 550 HP, right? Um, so, why create something that can do twice as much healing as currently anybody has HP? And I think part of the reason is because they expect overall HP levels to increase. Uh, with Codex, I think we're going to see this happen very, very rapidly. With the new meta challenges and attributes, I think that's only going to exasperate, exasperate it. I think we're going to see the average player level go from like 140, 150 HP to closer to like 200 and 250 HP rather quickly and then I think what we're going to see is the average grinder the average person who's really dedicated to the game goes from like 200 to 250 HP to like 3 350 uh, I think we're going to see just higher levels in general across the board I think that's what we're in for and I think that's really what my dark wants 
So guys, I'm going to go ahead and kind of wind the video up. I know there hasn't been a ton of new information in this video, but the one takeaway I want you guys to have is there is something that is out there in another video. There is somewhere you should be. There is something you should be doing right now that will help even low-level players make money with Christmas Mayhem 2020. Um, I have talked about it in several videos. It is something that has been openly discussed. And what is just mind-boggling to me is that I have been there for four days. And for four days, I have really not seen anybody else there. It has more or less just been me and my little lonesome all by myself doing this thing. So, yes, there is something that can make you pretty good money. Uh, I think there's a lot of lower-level players that can participate and take advantage of it. In fact, I know they can. And it's just something that nobody is really taking advantage of, which is just absolutely mind-boggling to me. So, no, I'm not going to hand it to you on a silver platter because A, it would be to my detriment, and B, I, I shouldn't constantly have to. You should be going back, re-watching the videos, uh, trying to learn as much as you can about the game, game mechanics, and game knowledge as humanly possible. So, towards the end of the Christmas Mayhem event, I might make another video and let it slip. Um, I do plan to do several videos during Christmas Mayhem. I intend to do some videos on Mine Force, some on mining, fapping, skills, um, different stuff like that. I, I've got plenty of stuff planned if my schedule will allow. I'm going to try and pump out several videos while I have a few days off work. Got a lot of other stuff to do, plus mayhem on top of that. I do have about 30 messages I have not answered, as this has been the first time I've really actually felt like playing. I've been logged in for four days. I just haven't really been doing crap because I sleep half the time trying to get my body back on track. Um, so guys, I'm going to kind of leave it there for today. I know this has been kind of a cryptic video, but you're in the wrong place and you're doing the wrong thing. If you're in the practice arena, if you're in the Annihilation competition arena, if you are in FFA Mayhem, you are in the wrong place doing the wrong thing. There is something that can make you guys some decent money. Um, it is a limited time thing. It is in a very specific place and it is a very specific thing. It is in several of my other videos. So I will leave it to you guys to kind of dig and find what it is. So guys, for EarnPed.com, I've been Stevie B. I'm going to leave this one right here for today. I'll be back with more content for you guys very, very soon. Got a lot of great stuff planned over the next couple of weeks. Hopefully I can get around to it all. Guys, if you want to help support us, the best way to do that is EarnPed.com because when you earn, we earn. We appreciate all the support that we've gotten from you guys over the past year. It has been absolutely incredible. We're really looking forward to 2021. Um, also, be sure and hit that little subscribe button and hit that bell. That way, not only do we have more subscribers, but that way when we post new content, you guys will be the first to know. Uh, the Some of the information that we post, the, the people who get it first benefit from it most, right? So we want you guys to be on that list. Also, do us a favor, guys. Hit the like button on each and every video because it is absolutely amazing to me. The haters are out in force, constantly waiting for us to post new content so they can hit dislike. So we really rely on all the TVs to hit like. Also, please feel free to comment, um, even if your comment is something random, like, I like toast. Uh, every comment matters, every comment helps. Uh, I know we do not do a great job of getting around to replying to all the comments or even moderating them because of how busy we are, but they do help, they do matter, and we do appreciate it. So guys, from the EarnPed.com team, I've been Stevie B, smack smack, F the haters, and we will be back with more great content for you really soon. Have a merry mayhem, Stevies. Take care.